Hi YouTube, welcome to part two of the Maglite service and upgrade videos. Let's crack on and get it done. Now one of the things I do to my torches when I assemble them is I put a little bit of Vaseline and I just wet the contacts. And the reason why I do that is that prohibits further corrosion and maintains the uh, torch performance. So we'll now put the switch back together and we'll make sure that it's just got a tiniest amount of Vaseline on all the bits so it keeps everything from corroding any further. So let's take our switch assembly and start putting that back together. And we're talking about a smallest amount of Vaseline. So I'll just wet my fingers and that's the switch ring that we cleaned up. And that will help keep it from further tarnishing. little bit on the contacts of the switch again emphasis on little bit you don't need loads so if you've got great big knobs of it hanging off the contacts that's too much you just need to a little tiny coating is all you need pop that back together Lovely. We'll get the spring, pop that inside, and then we can put this assembly back together. There's your cartridge, make sure it clicks, which it does. And then we can assemble that back into the main body first we put our strip back in. Again, same thing, just, just wet it very slightly. With Vaseline. You can put a little bit more on the, uh, the contact. There we go. And we put that back into the torch. Like so and then we can put the cartridge assembly back in like so now taking your bulb assembly same thing smear all the way around just to wet the outside and just around the bulb see again I'm not putting any extra on that that's just what's on my fingers the residual just to roll rub it round and then we can put the uh, other components in the spring and we do the same to those as well and we give them a little bit of a wipe a little bit of Vaseline on the end Again, just a smear. And we put it inside. End cap, same. A little bit of Vaseline. Like so. And then we can put that assembly back in the housing. That's back together. Put a little screw in to put it all back together.
like so. And that's our switch assembly ready to go back together. Make sure it all clicks and does what it should do, which is excellent. Again, a little bit of um, Vaseline on the terminal, positive terminal, and then she's ready to go back in. Okay, so if we look at the base, this has still got uh, its spare bulb holder in, although the bulb is actually missing, so it's obviously been used. But we're going to uh, take this, it looks clean, but we've got to make sure that that spring makes a good contact onto that. So again, exactly the same. Use your fiberglass pencil, rub that around the inside, just to take off any corrosion and shine the surface up. And then when the, where the spring touches, it will make a good contact onto that cap. And secondly, where this cap makes contact with the end of the casing, when you put the screw the cap on, that rim around the outside. So we need to clean that as well. And if you don't clean that, that's where the, uh, the torch earths the batteries to complete the circuit. And that's one of the failure points because that can't get any current through and your torch doesn't work properly. So we give that a good clean all the way around. Take a tissue, give it a wipe out. Clean off any rubbish around uh, any of the uh, threads. That's ready to go back on. Moving on to the tail cap spring, same thing. Clean up all the contact surfaces which contact batteries. So we've got a nice clear path for electricity through that spring. And then on the base where it sits in the tail cap, make sure it's clean. A little bit on the side where it screws in. And again, Vaseline. But before we Vaseline the tail cap, what we're gonna do is remove the O-ring, give it a clean, and give that some Vaseline as well. So, O-ring off. Now you can replace the O-ring. And if you want maximum uh, protection from water ingress, then I recommend, if it's an old torch, to put, put the O-ring on. But this one's still pliable, and it's not crushed. So this is absolutely fine to reuse for the application that this torch is going to be used for. And just clean around the groove. Clean all the rubbish out of the groove. Then we're ready to put the O-ring back on. Vaseline in the in the tail cap around the recess where the spring sits to protect the metal. Again, a little bit on the spring, both ends, and then we can put that back in. Although we're not going to need it. And then we clip that back in like so. And then the last thing we do, as you should do with all mag light threads, is a little bit of lubrication. So again, a little bit of Vaseline on the threads makes 
for a much, much nicer action when you screw that in and avoids any vibration on the thread when you're doing it up. And just generally makes a nice job of reassembling that torch. In terms of the body, same thing, O-ring off. And on this one, you tend to get a lot of skin and dust and all sorts of detritus uh, under the cap um, and dead skin where it's been handled. So we need to clean all that out. And sometimes you need a screwdriver to go in the groove to assist with the scraping out of the detritus. Okay, that's all nice and clean. So we do the same on this end, where that's all clean on the end there. That needs rubbing round with the um, fiberglass pencil for the same reason, to remove any surface corrosion that will be on there, um, because that is the main connection for the full current for the bulb. And again, you've guessed it, little tiny bit of Vaseline just to wet the end, just to stop that corroding further. Now inside, where that's been earthing, I don't know if you can see in the bottom of there, there's a pimple, okay? Now you can just see the pimple right at the bottom. That's where the, the uh, switch has been earthing, so we need to make sure that's clean as well. So in this case, we don't need to scrub it, we'll just put some Vaseline on it because when we um, push the uh, screw from the switch back into the bottom, that will make a fresh divot and make a clean connection. So, more Vaseline, just a little tiny bit on the inside. There we go. And you really don't want to put too much in here because if you're doing a high power torch, you're going to put a lot of current on it, things will get warm. So just enough to smear the surface rather than leave great lumps of it behind. So O-rings back on, again, wet them. Yeah, don't leave them great big lumps of uh, Vaseline on it. Pop that back on. Like so. And then we can start putting the torch back together now. Switch inside. Push the uh, connection down. Line it up. And then simply push in. So, once you've got your switch back in position, make sure it lines up. Make sure your uh, switch works nice and easily. Don't put the cover on for now, put, put that on last, just in case you need to take that out again if there's a problem. And now we can fit our new LED. In this case, it's the torch site and it's the one, one two, three point two 3.2 volt uh, upgrade bulb, three watt. That's it for part two. And uh, watch this space for part three coming soon. As ever, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.